I'm Sir Tap Tap, and the space event is out for Abyss Reel. Um, it's a slow rollout like all of them are. Um, don't worry about it if you don't have it yet. It just they, They're stupid and they like to roll it out slowly for no reason. Um, the game got bought out by Flareo Games, so there might be some changes coming in Abyssrium. Um, the first change is that the devs, new devs, um, well the new publisher rather, seems to actually care about the game and is answering uh, comments and questions on Facebook for the first time in about a year. And they're also going to fix the uh, juvenile spadefish thing. So, um, I always recommend if you can't find something in the video guide, check out my website. So I thought I'd, you know, show you alongside. This is my site. Just go to sirtapdab.com if you want to see the guide. Um, I'm gonna scroll down here to the hidden event fish, and we'll just kind of follow right along here. Um, so, if you haven't played any events before, the basic loop is that you need to tap bubbles from the fish 20 times to power up Mr. Hermit Crabs. Mr. Crabs down here. Let me hide this so you can actually see it. Thanks, Parker. Thanks for getting in my way. Mr. Crabs over here needs to get 20 taps, and then you cast the crab, and then it's pretty much just a loop of you cast the crab. Oh wait, first, before anything at all, what you need to do, close the main menu, go to the palette menu, and you need to buy the die, the costume, and the theme down here. They're all very cheap, so don't worry about the price of them, just buy them. Start with the die, because that gives you the hermit crab, then the other two, and then you just tap the bubbles, activate the hermit crab where it's, you know, that button where it says collect star candy will turn into, like, you know, dance or whatever it is. And, uh, it's pretty, ba pretty basic stuff. So, let's go right down the list. My, my cat is assisting me. Assisting in like 50 air quotes. So, let's, uh, let's just go through the list this way, shall we? So the Moonlight Puffer, fine boy that he is, is not a hidden fish anyway. Um, for the Starlight Sea Slug, what you need to do is go to the shop tab and watch the uh, ads for the free farm materials, free in like 50 quotation marks. Um, just need to watch those ads five times. Space Boxfish, not hidden by five puffers. Space Starfish, very fine boy, very pretty. Um, share a photo of the star flower, that's part of the expand quest. The expand quest is the little um, thing over here at the middle left here where you get the spicy moon slice and stuff. You just need to take a picture of a couple items from there. All of those, the, those aren't hidden, so you can just read the descriptions there. Starlight Nautilus, open mystery chest three times. Space Octopus with his frickin' laser beam. Um, reach level five of the Hermit Crab, you'll probably do that very quickly. Um, always level up your Hermit Crab as fast as you can. It pays dividends very quickly. Space Dumbo, take five photos of the flying UFO. Very cute, best Dumbo so far by, by a lot. Space Penguin, own 40 event fish, just any 40. Um, pretty simple. Moonlight Turtle. Create five space penguins. Simple again. For the space ray, um, use Song of the Moon 15 times and have the Moonlit Turtle in your tank while you use it 15 times. So basically just buy... Just put one of these boys in your tank. Keep casting Song of the Moon. It'll happen eventually. Starlight Orfish, take a photo of the rocket. That's again part of the expand quest items. Moonlight Jellyfish, take use uh, 500 sea urchins. Those are the farming materials. Um, unlock those in the farm tab, which is part of the coral tab, if you haven't yet. Um, you can spend them on anything, you can spend them on fusion fish, or you can spend them on, um, event items. Also, it seems to be less than 500. I swear I spent way less than 500 when I got it. Starlit Dolphin. Use delicious food 30 times with Moonlight Jellyfish in the tank. Again, pretty simple, just spam that skill. The Big Boy, Moonlight Whale. Look at how fancy he is. He looks like a Final Fantasy enemy. Um, buy one of each of the above fish and own to to uh, 80 total event fish, which won't be a problem at that point. And the Star Prince, very unexpected. I feel like they put a lot more effort into designing these than they usually do. Um, there's some totally original stuff in this. There's some neat stuff. Um, there's a little Star Prince here, who's got his little sandy dome for his, uh, little flower there. That's, um... You have to complete the Miraculous Space Quest, which uh, I'll show you in a second. The, the other one is the Red Fox, not to be confused with Red Fox. Um, that's just, that's an in-app purchase. You don't need to get it for anything else. 
Um, it's totally separate. So to do the space quest, you gotta go up here, tap the space quest thing, and then there's, you know, it tells you what you need to do each step of the way. There is a full list of what you need to do on my guide. So let's just look at it. So first you need to equip the Starlight Garden die. Very, very simple. You should have already done that. Um, use the crab skill 30 times. That does take a little while. So you can see I've only done it eight times in the last day. Um, for the third step, you need to collect 30,000 event currency, which um, if you have the crab fully upgraded, that's uh, 15 more casts. So, you know, it's a grind, but not crazy by any means. Uh, own four kinds of fish with starlight in the name for the next one. Um, and you need to make five new starlit dolphins. Anytime it says make or buy a new thing in the guide, that means it doesn't count until you've already unlocked this part of the quest, which is usually the case for these. Um, then finally you need to tap three, 300 currency bubbles from the jellyfish. Um, I believe any jellyfish, not just the, um, not just the new one from the event, but I could, that could be wrong. And then buy five new moonlight whales. The total cost for this event is fairly high. The five moonlit whales alone will cost you about 100,000 currency. So that's why that get 30,000. It sounds like a lot, but it's unfortunately not a lot. Um, the barriers to progress are much smaller in this one than usual. Um, I kind of like that they spread out the ad watch things. Like, there's like watch five material ads, watch five, you know, currency ads, instead of like watch literally, what was it? 80? I think? Or no, there was one that was like 250 casts. Th there's, yeah, I think in the freshwater tank there was one that requ required 300 ad watches, basically. And so this seems much less awful. Um, like I said, Flaro Games is purchasing the game, and I think already is, you know, they're, I think they're in the middle of the transfer. Uh, Flaro Games was supposed to be making the Switch version of the game, and, um... Yeah, hopefully that actually materializes, finally. So... Yeah. I think this event is definitely better than average, considering what we've gotten lately. It's probably the best event since I stopped completing events around the uh, Halloween tank event. I would say probably the best event they've had since, um, maybe... Uh, the Pirate and Egypt events were really good. Decent cost. Nothing too ridiculous. I really like those. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to know. Check out the guide on sirtapdub.com if you missed anything or anything needs clarification. That should always be the first place to check. I I use my own guide repeatedly as I play these. I um it's you know, it's hard to remember everything all at once. So Thanks for watching. Um if there's any new relevant news on the Flaro Games buyout situation. Um, I'll probably do a video on that. Um, it's not, it's not a huge deal. It's, you hear a buyout and you think bad things. And the thing is that Cheetah Mobile already was the soulless publisher that bought the game away from its original developers. So the really bad buyout situation has already happened. We're already in the worst case scenario. Um, we can pretty much only go up from here. <laughs> so I'm interested to see how it go turns out. And the fact that they're actually answering customer support. Um, seems to indicate that things are going pretty good. So yeah. Cautiously, very, very cautiously optimistic. Like, more cautious than optimistic, but compared to before, it's still optimistic. So, hope you enjoy the event.